What's going on, E Pac Man's Club? This is E Pac Man's back with another Fortnite video, and today we are looking at the Season 8 Week 6 Fortnite Challenges. But before we get started, I just want to thank all of you guys that are subscribed already. I am less than 20 subscribers away from a thousand so please help me get to a thousand if you guys aren't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one and also make sure to check out my other videos i have done weekly challenge guides for every single week of season eight and then also make sure to check out my other videos as well and then one last thing, make sure you guys follow me on social media at EatPacMans. That's for Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want. It's at EatPacMans. You guys already know. So other than that, let's get started and see what Week 6 has to offer. So for the first free challenge, we have Visit a Wooden Rabbit, a Stone Pig, and a Metal Llama. So I'm kind of excited that they brought this type of challenge back because I don't think we've seen it since we had to visit the furthest point north southeast west and then uh the faces in the desert snow biome and then the forest so i'm kind of excited for this one and then we have visit the five highest elevations on the island which again is kind of similar i guess to the north south east west uh points so we'll take a look at that i can already tell uh polar peak is going to be one of them then we have eliminate opponents at lazy lagoon or frosted flights that'll be easy if we do that in team rumble Hopefully, um, as long as the circle closes around one of those areas. So for the first uh, battle pass challenge, we have uh, stage one of five land at Fatal Field. So um, looks like Epic's been bringing these challenges back, um, and they make them in stages where you just have to land at certain locations. So that's easy. And we have search where the knife points on the treasure map loading screen. So we have to take a look at that loading screen and go where the knife points. And then we have to get an elimination with the flint knock pistol or boom. Bow. Well, if you guys uh, haven't seen my video already, make sure to check it out where I was just going crazy with the Flintlock Pistol. So this challenge will be a piece of cake. Flintlock Pistol is actually one of my favorites. So this will be pretty awesome. And then we have to use a different throwable item in a single match. So I'm assuming like a sticky and, you know, one of those stink bombs or something like that. Okay, cool. We will get started, and we think we'll start with the easy one, land at Fatal Fields. Also guys, a quick tip, just make sure you actually land at Fatal Fields. I know that sounds kind of dumb because it says to land at Fatal Fields, but in case you're landing short of it, um, it's, if you don't land where it says Fatal Fields, you will not get credit for it. So just, just to let you guys know. Here we are, stage one, land at Fatal Fields, we got it done. Okay, now we have to land at Lazy Lagoon, and this is enemy territory, so I might actually be able to get my eliminations over there. We'll give it a try, it's gonna be tough, but we'll give it a try. So looks like I got another buddy here landing with me. Awesome. Uh, so I might stick around, see if I can find anybody. Oh, look, there's one. Nice. Cool. Oh, there's my throwables. Let's test this out. That's dynamite. Oh, and that's the stink bomb. We got that done, so use different throwables. Check. So here the problem is, where do I find a flint knock pistol in the middle of nowhere? I'm gonna go to Tilted Towers and hopefully find a flint knock around here. But if I can't find the flint knock, then yes, I would have wasted. Oh, look what we have here! Perfect. Wow, right as I was saying it, we found it. 
Okay, so now I need to find an enemy, and then I think it's just one elimination, so that is a piece of cake. I'm probably gonna use the pump first, and then, you know, switch over to the flint knock, and then eliminate him. Nice! It's that easy! You guys see that? That easy. And just because the game's almost over, I might just stick around and mess around with this flint knock. Make another mini video of how good the flint knock is. It's crazy good. I'm telling you guys, if you have a flint knock slash pump combo, you're unstoppable. And just one more. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got to 101. I don't know if you guys can see. It's crazy. Okay, so just a quick little update on what I did that one. So we landed for stage three. We landed at Lazy Lagoon. They got one elimination. And then we got that flint knock pistol elimination as well. Oh, and we also did the use different throwable items in a single match. Super easy. So we got two, two and a third of a challenge done. Well, actually, technically three because we also did that stage two. All right, oh, not bad. And then for stage three, we're gonna land at Shifty Shafts. Stage three of five, land at Shifty Shafts, we got it done. All right, we have to land at Frosty Flights and unfortunately, it is our side. The reason I say it, unfortunately, because we also have to eliminate people at Frosty Flights. And so we will not get the chance to do that in this game. However, since we are coming to Frosty Flights, there happens to be one of the five highest peaks over here. Not particularly a uh, Frosty Flights, but I believe it's over there right on top where that helicopter thing is. But let's find out. Oh, did it not count? Did did I not land in frosty flights? Yeah, yeah, it did. It didn't give me the notification, you know. I kind of got a little worried there. Let's go see if we can visit the highest point. Which I'm hoping is that point right here. Yes, it is. That's one of the highest points. So, when you guys visit Frosty Flights, right here, this point right here where I'm at, is one of the five highest elevations on the island. So, make sure you go there. Don't waste time. Visit Frosty Flights and then visit that point. And then also remember, it's going to be Polar Peak, so we might as well go over there. So, take this zip line right here, right away. Um, and Polar Peak, literally right here. So, you're, not, you're gonna knock out two points right away. And then, obviously, you guys already know what's the highest. You guys can see it visually. The highest point is way up there. And this is... The next highest point that I would recommend visiting uh, Just because it's right next to frosty and you'll get credit And since we're already on the topic There are some neighboring high points as you guys can see it with those mountains over there So we're actually gonna get to knock out four hopefully as long as the storm doesn't get me which it probably will but if I don't get to it this game you guys see those two mountains right here right next to each other it's pretty obvious what the highest points are we'll probably do that next game just because i will not be able to make this game right here on this mountain should mark probably mark that that will be the highest one of the highest peaks and then this mountain as well that i'm passing is going to be another high peak I didn't even land and we got credit, so as I'm still up in the air, let's 
see what I can do. I can't even make it anywhere. Okay, that's fine. I believe this should be the highest point right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so then we only have one more left, and we all know where it is. You guys can see it right across the map. It is the volcano, which we will check out when I land at Sunny Steps. So actually, I have an idea. Since we didn't actually land at one of the highest points over there at this mountain right here, we just kind of glided over it. I'm thinking, what if I glide over the volcano and land at Sunny Steps, and that's two birds and one stone right there. So that's what I'm going to try to do, just glide over the volcano, hopefully I don't get shot down, and then we'll land at Sunny Steps. So it's got to be this point right here. We might actually have to land, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Okay, so that's what we were trying to do, and then let's see if I get credit for landing at Sunny Steps since I technically have not landed. I'll even land in the center, just so I can get that credit, hopefully. And I did get that credit, awesome. So, like I said, we got two birds with one stone. And I would recommend doing that if you do all the stages for for landing. So if you do it just like what I did. You know, I went through all the stages first and then save stage at 5 out of 5, land at Sunny Steps. And then I went to all the other four highest elevations of the island, saved the volcano last, glided over the volcano, and then straight to Sunny Steps, and I got two birds with one stone. And since we are here already, we're going to go visit where the knife points. And I believe it's somewhere over here within these trees just south of uh, Lonely Lodge. So we have right now, it's perfect. It's the loading screen right now. You see the, the knife right there. Um, so we're going to have to go where it points. But it looks like it's going to be in the forest area. Let's go see if that's true. Just hoping I get there before the storm touches me. Which we might actually. Just about. Just over this hill. Okay. And oh, right here. Literally right here. So I will show you guys. I'm going to search it first before I, anything happens. So literally where I'm at right here, guys. It's going to look like J6 right here, right south of uh, Lonely Lodge and just north of the, s the racetrack. And then this is the exact spot for you guys' information right here. And we're all set. Alright, so we have one of my subscribers, XX Killed Them All, XX, join us for this challenge where we're going to go visit... Let's see, we're gonna go visit a wooden rabbit, a stone pig, and a metal llama. Let's go over here, I believe it's on top. So I believe one of them is right here, so it's gonna be a hot drop, A4. So this is, what is this, the wooden llama? Or, what did I just say? <laughs> this is the wooden rabbit, my bad. <laughs> I said the wooden llama, that's funny. Okay, but I'm gonna go to Junk Junction, so we're gonna go visit, so we just did the Wooden Rabbit, we're gonna go visit the Metal Llama. So I kind of wish I got a vehicle just to go over there, but you guys can already see the Llama right there. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it, if you've ever landed near Junk Junction. Yeah, it's been in the game forever. So these challenges aren't that hard, guys. Especially since some of them are really close to each other. So, all right, we got the wooden rabbit and the metal llama. All we have to do is find the pig, which is should be by Lucky Landing. All right, guys, so you guys can already see the outline of the pig right there, uh, right by Lucky Landing, right where my marker is. That's where we're going. All right, guys, here's the pig. And we got that challenge completed. Nice. So, 
the last challenge that I have to do is eliminate opponents Lazy Lagoon or Frosty Flights. Alright guys, so now we're going to transition to duos so I can finish my last challenge, which is eliminate opponents at Lazy Lagoon or Frosty Flights. I have one already, but I need two more, and if you have a buddy to do duos with, you might as well party assist it, so I'm going to activate that. And like I said, we are still here with XX, kill them all, XX. Um, feel free to add him on Epic Friends. And we're going to go ahead and get started here. Alright, looks like we got a pretty good amount of people landing over here. I'm not too surprised. Oh, I thought you were on the pole, man. Are you kidding me? A sticky actually got me? I'm done. That sucks. Well, the good news is, guys, I have a party assist on. Shout out to my buddy here getting me that elimination. Alright, I got a pistol. Got a pistol, guys. There we go. I got my challenges done. We got that, and uh, my buddy here got a got elimination too. It's not a bad start. Oh, I almost got sniped. I was I just got sniped at. So it's just a heads up. Oh, he's here, he's here. Got him. Got him both. Got him both, got him both. But that was a little scary. Maybe I should have switched to my pistol. But it's alright, guys. So literally, my three eliminations all in one match. Who would have thought? Alright, so this is the strength of will loading screen. And... On the key, it shows the coordinates, which I'm about to show you guys. So the week six banner is in between E2, F2, E3, and F3. So that will bring it exactly right there. So again, that's E2, F2, E3, and F3, right where I marked. Right at that intersection. Assuming it's gonna be on the ground. Yes, I see it. You guys see it? Right there. Perfect. Well, that is it for week six, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. Also, make sure to subscribe. I'm so close to getting the 1,000 subscribers, so please help support. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts like this one and shout out to xx killed them all uh, for joining me and doing these challenges i really appreciate it and then also make sure to follow me on social media at epacmans that's instagram snapchat twitter whatever you guys use you guys already know and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video peace out